Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Samir Hussain, and uh, I guess in the next 10 minutes, we are going to talk about uh, a very different thing of what all the presenters have talking about. Uh, we're going to talk about the Fort Pratt Junior Faculty Development Scholarship. Actually, we are uh, six uh, participants. We are uh, Amira Saeed, Anjabs University, Samar Magdi, Asrut University, Hussain Saeed, Mini University, Mini Ibrahim, Mudafir University, Abdurrahman Tawarika University, and I'm Samah Hussain from Mansur University. Uh, actually, our presentation will be um, talking about the scholarship for 70 days hosted by the University of Arkansas uh, College of Education and Health Profession in cooperation with the Spring International Language Center. Actually, in, uh, the, uh, the program was fully um, condensed with events and the classes. We have about 120 different activities in 70 days. We have four, more than 40 different classes more 40 sessions and activities, more than 40. So actually they are aware of more than about 120 different activities. Okay, now Abdurrahman is going to talk to us about the classes. Okay, so what was really, hello, what was really interesting about the classes is how inclusive they were. Uh, they made sure that they were more about our teaching as, tra as teachers and as trainers, as well as uh, leadership, they focused on making sure that we know more and more about the American educational system and about the American government uh, with the preliminary sessions that we got with the political system and with the quantitative research methods. Then they made sure that we get the certain elements of, of training that would make us well, I'm not going to say better, but more professional and to get more experience with what we are focused on with the program. So a lot of the sessions that we've got here, we try our best to implement after getting back home, like the administration and higher education, which got us to a comparative point between what we've got in Egypt and what we saw in, in the US, as well as writing for academic purposes, and then also writing, grant writing, and how to write a grant and how to try and, and get a grant for an administration that you're working for here in Egypt. A lot of the different classes here are, we're extremely valuable and we're extremely proficient in trying to make us better and better teachers as we come back home. So like I said, some of them were focused on leadership and some others were focused on making sure that we're better teachers and trainers after getting back home. So. U.S. politics, challenges, and opportunities were very eye-opening for us that we tried to figure out in a comparative way how people might try to find out different positivities and negative aspects as well of the American uh, government. And we would try and make sure to engage in a very uh, open discussion about what we think and how we can apply this into our country. Uh, the role of women in the U.S. was also a big deal, and, and we made sure to, to focus on that and how we would make that something to put in mind after we get back home. Okay, and now uh, Sam is going to start with the cultural activity. Okay, um, hi. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm Sam from India University. I'm going to talk very briefly about co our cultural activities. Um, I, I think we experienced Everything that anyone goes to uh, to America experience, the bowling games, the baseball game, and so. But I think the most two interesting things we learned there about uh, American history and culture. Uh, we learned about, uh, uh, of course, we all know the African American history of uh, of America, but we got to experience it firsthand, and we went to we we knew very. Uh, personal stories about African Americans there because we were in Arkansas and it's a southern state where um, racism and race was a very big issue there. And also we got to learn about the um, Native American, uh, Native, Native American, right? Yeah, uh, Cherokee, this is a, a tribe in, um, in North, uh, in Southern America and we got to see their culture. I, I personally didn't know anything about it, so these were the I believe the highlight of our cultural activities there. This is to be so brief. And, um, uh, OK, 
Okay, now we're going to the academic court. Okay, this is you. This is Sorry. Uh, it's okay. We were um, after after the cultural activity. We have we have been been lucky to to try different things, like something like a mini tissue conference that we have participated in. We have attended something like uh, the workshop that usually begins. Uh, it will be uh, it will held at the beginning of the semester. A gathering with all the professors, all the new staff members, and the are um, discussing together how the program is going to go on through uh, the year. Uh, we have different workshops with uh, um, different faculty staff members, and of course, we were lucky to have a re-entry workshop uh, in Washington. Then the cultural exchange program was a part of presentation. Okay, uh, so the culture exchange program was how we would make sure that the American community that we were in would see Egypt in a better way, in a more non-stereotypical way, in order for us to present Egypt in a contemporary manner and for them to be tourists here or even try and reside here at some point of their lives. So the Butterfield Trail Village was, a, uh, was where we started our Egyptian presentation with the different social uh, aspects of the country and of our society. And it was very fruitful and also very informative for them and everybody enjoyed that, luckily. Also, the intercultural communication class. So we made sure that they realized that uh, the stereotypes that they have about Egypt with the camels and the pyramids and the sand is not what is predominant here in the country and that uh, they would, uh, it would be a very positive experience for them to come and, and see for themselves. Also the NWA Community College, it, it was a very, very fruitful experience for us as well to figure out what a community college is and how, uh, how every student there was very determined to make something out of themselves and try to get as much education as they can, even if they were uh, older than a regular student in any way. Uh, it was very inspiring. Also, the University of Intercultural Communication class, as well the presentation about Egypt and in the communication class, this was also another presentation that we did. And uh, all of these experiences were just very positive, luckily, and everybody was very receptive about the different and new ideas that we presented and about our country. So, the final projects that we had, we were presented with four different uh, choices and we would try and make our own. And, and uh, myself as well as Hussein, uh, we chose to develop a thesis for uh, a PhD, a, a thesis question for a PhD dissertation. And then Samah and Amira Sayed had to get some research questions and to answer them themselves. Nermin Ibrahim was very uh, lucky in publishing a paper and making this her uh, Goal, as well as Summer, who focused on grant writing for her uh, for her for her university. Now, sure. So, what I did and what I made sure to gain was modeling in teaching, making sure that I model for my students, depending on their own experiences, knowing more about fundraising, and then the comparative vision about the positivities and negativities between Egypt and the U.S. and the educational system, contemporary feminism, I know a lot more about that, and then drama. Now, Nermin Ibrahim is going to continue. Okay, as for my experience in Arkansas, I'm um, trying to pay to my home institution some new trends or some new strategies in teaching uh, English and foreign languages, and um, I focus on the use of games and how can we make our students uh, creative in the classroom and making our classroom more student-centered. Uh, actually, we can achieve this through a number of ways. The first way is to use, the, to, to use art or integrate art in the classroom. Uh, art by art I mean the use of uh, free writing or uh, uh, using blocks in the classroom, using the posters in the classroom, using games, and also using of silent drama or what we mean uh, by some lamaks at tableau or a sound of uh, silent acting or silent in the classroom. Also, one, one more way 
I can uh, make or modernize, let's say, or make my classroom better use of technology in the classroom. That's why the, the making use of cell phone application in the classroom is very easy and very free. It can, it can use by the students very simply. Also, the use of the techniques of the true colors and the true colors technique is a somehow psychological technique uh, through, through which we can know some, something about the personality and the behavior and the skills and the needs of our students. And finally, also, I'm going to try something new or open new horizons in my research that's by making uh, or by publishing a paper. The name of my paper is Jokes, Similarity, and American Political Jokes, Advantage and Specification, or Advantage and Values. I see the opportunity be in the Arkansas uh, state to win uh, in this state. Bill Clinton was uh, lived and brought up, so I made it, I tried to make analyze the some political jokes told about uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, and the focus of my research is to make a comparison between political jokes told about Clinton and told about uh, George II. And the main focus of the research is to try to identify the ideologies about these uh, about these jokes. Okay, I'm helping you there. I feel like I'm running. Okay. Okay, these are the professors I work with there. Um, my specialty is linguistics, so I have like zero experience in TEFL and teaching methodology. So I tried to make the best out of it. Um, I developed um, a thesis, a, a, a question. Um, I have a very, a very weird affinity for horror literature, so I decided to incorporate this in my uh, study, and I'm planning to make a dissertation about linguistic conceptualization of horror fiction. And also in the teaching conference, I presented um, a, a very brief presentation about the potential of horror fiction language. Uh, pedagogy, and then lastly, I uh, these are pictures in my class in faculty of um, Al Salvinia University. Um, I I ask my students to present some cultural stuff about America, and I use the technique I learned there in the, in the university. We don't have time for two more people. You run out. Oh, one slide only. Okay, one minute. One minute. Okay. They have some. No, sorry, because many of you. I'm sorry about that. So we just have one minute for each one because we have to have Okay, my uh, project was on uh, TEFL training for English instructors at Oslo University. Um, the main problem that we have in our Egyptian university is that we don't have like teacher trainings or anything for uh, teachers to improve themselves. So I thought about something that will help them to improve their um, teaching skills. Uh, so it will be a cooperation between um, the University of Arkansas and uh, Aussie University. And also uh, we have um, a cooperation uh, between uh, ancient and also universities. Um, okay, I have some different phases here for the program. Um, but I was lucky when, uh, on my return to uh, Egypt, I met Micah, uh, who is the new real uh, officer in Egypt. And I talked to him about my project and he he shows, yeah, interest, 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 interest. Interest. Thank, you. thank you. The last one. Yes. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Amira Sayed. When I went there, I was focused on. Yep, one minute. Okay, I promise. Okay, when I went there, I was focused on answering a research question. Actually, I had my PhD proposal accepted here in ancient university before going to the U.S. to the University of Arkansas, and I wanted to form like um, a complete image of the program that I will implement in my PhD thesis. So I met Dr. Tina Pollock, who was she was like more than an academic mentor. She was a friend, she was very supportive, and I knew many things that helped me um, like form a complete image of that uh, program in my PhD. <coughs> my my PhD title is an e-mentoring model for developing English as a foreign language student teacher, studying faculty and emotional intelligence. Um, I, I learned how to use the mixed research methods by taking um, the responses of, of the students to my uh, in, in the blog or in the online form. Um, I also learned how to implement videos for the researcher or to the platform from Dr. Tina. Um, in the statistical part, it was a bit challenging for me, but I learned a lot there about the statistical part and how to implement it correctly. And I took an idea on how to design an online course. It's my very first time to do that, so it was very beneficial for me. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you so much. Really interesting, and the seven of you are amazing presenters of Egypt. I'm sure 
you, you did a great job over there, it seems you. so. And uh, do we have, we have just maybe a minute or two for questions? So we will talk in the coffee break. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.